I've done the best I can to meet uh, to meet teachers. Um, so I, you know, I had an opportunity to meet and practice Katagiri Roshi, Maizumi Roshi, uh, Colvin Chino. Uh, I would think the person that I had the closest relationship with was Robert Aitken. Uh, and the circumstance of that is, you know, first I read his books and liked them a lot. Uh, I think he was a really, really good writer. I, it's actually, I discovered after, after his passing, uh, when I started rereading some of his books, I realized how much unconsciously uh, his books and his thinking had really influenced mine, uh, and even writing style. Uh, but I got to know him because he had been the founder of Buddhist Peace Fellowship in, 19, in 1978, before I was involved, and was still uh, involved when I joined in 91, and we had a fair amount of interaction, and then I made it a point to I went and I studied with him, I did a practice period with him, and I was, uh, for a time, in, in relatively close communication. Uh, and I value that a lot. He was not always the easiest person in the world. Uh, you know, all was not sweetness and light. Uh, but he brought his heart and mind to bear on the world. Uh, and for him, I don't think in his deepest heart, I, don't, I really don't think there was a distinction between Buddhism and engaged Buddhism. Uh, and that was, I feel like that was a great inspiration to a number of us. I mean, he was really our elder in that respect. 